So we got spruced up. We're gonna head to Trader Sam's in downtown Disney. And by spruced up, he means that I brush my hair. And I put on a Disney badge. We are in the lobby of the Adventure Tower, and there's Walt in his tiki room. And then a good drawing of the Jungle Cruise. Just so much awesomeness. I'm Welcome so excited. To my crib. Look at that. I know. I really wish I would have brought. This is my spirit animal. <laughs> I really wish I would have found my Jungle Cruise shirt from the 60th anniversary to wear. But that's our room right there. Oh, that's our room right there. Just count up four. One, two, three, four. So this is where we're heading. Trader Sam's. So I, I'm digging that fire with how cold it is. All right, first off, feels like it. See, I want everything. Okay. I want the edamame. I want the wings. Yeah, we're getting the wings. I want the, I kind of want the, the pork, uh, like pop stickers. Yeah. Uh, I don't want the spam, I'm good on that. Definitely we're getting the wings, so. So what, what did you get to drink, Hallie? Um, I know that it's made one of two. Let's, poo -poo get, the poo -poo, let's get the poo poo platter. Okay. I mean, it has the, the green beans on it, which are the long beans, which yeah. I have heard are delicious. I know that they're not your thing, but okay. I really like Okay. Do you want to do that? Sure. So this place is just amazing. All right, so here come our drinks. What'd you get? I got the hippopotamus pie, which comes in adorable little cups. And I got a Krakatoa punch. No, Krakatoa. Every drink does something different in here. All right. It's just so cute. I almost don't want to drink it. The moment of truth. <laughs> awesome. Made with real sailor Jerry. Uh, it's made with real sailors or farm sailors. I only do organic sailors myself. <laughs> so Hal, Hallie, what do we get? We got the poo poo platter. So we've it's got like in Bucks Life. So we've got wings, and amame, string beans, and those pot stickers. This looks amazing. All right, so we do we dove in with the food. It is fantastic. Those wings are better than the poly. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Oh. Robbie also already ate his pork boys up. I haven't tried it yet. It's, it's alright. I also got him to eat the long beans and he's telling french himself fries. they're french fries. As they basically are. And then uh, I just had some of the edamame and it is also delicious. So this place is amazing. Be happy with it. Best way to start a Disneyland vacation. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> We did it, we ate at Trader Sam's and it was so good. Oh my goodness, those wings were amazing. Everything so. was so good, we got the poo poo platter, everything was yummy. Yep. I, also could be because we've barely eaten today. Yeah, the wings though were the best. Yes. So. Well, I don't know if I agree with that. I need to reapply my lipstick, but um, the but wings were good. Definitely worth trying again. I think, I think so. the, the long beans were my favorite. Mm -hmm. 
But all together, uh, that was uh, $100 before tip. Yeah, for two souvenir glasses. And the poo-poo platter, so. Yeah. But definitely worth the adventure. It is such a greatly, such a great themed restaurant, so. Check them out. It is super fun in there. It's super tiny and super crowded, but yeah. that kind of makes it fun because there's just a few people in there at a time. But, yeah. So we're going to go drop our souvenir mugs off at the yeah. room and then go shopping. So I'm really happy that Earl of Sandwich is back up, but it's sort of sad that all this is now empty since that hotel didn't go through. Which hotel? So this is our first Disneyland trip. So. You don't like it? You're gonna hate it. Why? I better eat it all. Oh no! <laughs> I better put the camera down and fight him off. Here. Okay. Tastes like a hot Oreo. Okay, she's gone. So, unpopular churro position and first thoughts. I still don't like churros. <laughs> Even though it was an Oreo churro, it still was like way too much breading. So I think I'm gonna stick with my Mickey Premium bars and Dole Whip and let Robbie eat all the churros. So what do you think, Rob? It's pretty good. It's not the classic churro, but definitely it tastes like a hot Oreo. So you can see there's the cream. Actually, I just need that other bite just to make sure I don't like it. This is not my thing. I liked it. Wouldn't be my first short tro like choice, but it's still pretty good. So Robbie's running over to the pin booth because this is going to be our life for the next few trips. <laughs> well, for the next few days. But all the trips, because I don't see him ever giving up on this habit. That is unless I cancel his credit card. <laughs> Yeah, see, I want to go over here to the Lego store and look at all the crazy Lego creations. Like this dragon up here. I wonder how many Legos it took to create this dragon fighting. Prince Charming? Prince Charming. Prince Charming? Right? Yes? And through the palm trees over there, you can see the top of the Grand California, which I hope we go look through today as well. And then. There's the like final scene from Toy Story when they're flying onto the thing and the monorail. It's like a for real monorail. It's not a fauna rail. It's like really happening. What? So we just left downtown Disney and walked through the um, entrance to the Grand Californian just because we wanted to look around. Um, so really I wanted to stay here for the lobby and I can come look at the lobby now and not have to pay to stay here. So there's actually a lot of people around so I'm kind of like dodging things. But let's look at it. All right, so here's the beautiful floors. And here is the beautiful lobby area. And then here is the beautiful upper area and there's somebody in here playing Moana on the piano and I'm having a really hard time not singing. Sure, like no right you need that stool at Trader Sam's that makes you short. Let's go look at the fireplace. Yeah. So the fireplace is apparently a popular place to be. One so would say it's the hot spot. It's a hot spot. Oh my gosh with the dad puns. But check this out. Oh man, get ready for like 20 little girls to start singing. So check this out, they have a celebration cake for Mickey over here, and it's made of real food. So this is like all fondant and cake and stuff. Probably tastes terrible, but it looks real cute. So we are at the World of Disney. Hallie found something she's interested in. I need this shirt. Yep. Allie, I've got a question for you. Who's the leader of the club? Just me, you and me. MIC? Okay, you are. MOUSE? 
So Robbie found a shirt that he liked and we're waiting for them to bring up the size because they didn't have it out on the floor. But uh, we've been watching the uh, little pictures here. So there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And they all change to like different ones. So that one just changed from Cinderella to Jungle Book. And sometimes they like animate and do cool things. Uh, so it's extremely hard to be this close to Disneyland and not be able to go in. It's kind of weird. It really is. But, but I'm feeling we're gonna go to bed super early because oh, heck yeah. early morning magic he starts at seven, so we'll probably like wanna be here before yeah. seven. <laughs> but I just it amazes me. DCA? Disneyland. No buses. No buses. No boats. It's like it's like a five minute walk. No buses. No boats. No gondolas. No nothing. But I don't know what else. We're trying to think of other things. So I think we're gonna head back and stop at Pen Traders and potentially get an Uber to go to In and Out Burger. We finally made it to In and Out Burger. So we this is our first In and Out experience. It was super packed. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I got cheese fries. I didn't realize that there were onions in their sauce, so hopefully I don't like onions, so hopefully it's okay. But I'm really looking forward to this. So I got a double-double with an extra well-done bun, because I like toasty buns. And then this is Robbie's plain old plain old. Then I got animal fries. Robbie got cheese fries. He did not get ketchup though, so we'll have to go back in and get that. Hallie's chomping down on her In N Out burger. So, literally, the video clip you saw previous to this was five seconds ago. I have inhaled my burger and have moved on to my cheese fries. The burger is definitely worth it, but the fries sort of suck. I'm sorry. They just melted American cheese what on is, cold fries. To five Guys, which is like our regional burger chain. Five Guys fries are way better. Five Guys fries are better. But In N Out prices like this, are better. In N Out prices are better, and I feel like this is a pretty good burger. It is a tasty burger. Especially because Five Guys burgers are like eight dollars, nine dollars just for the burger. Mm -hmm. Four bucks. So this combo was like seven dollars. But very unpopular opinion: McDonald's French fries with a slice of American cheese melted on them. How are your animal fries? The sauteed onions, grilled onions, whatever we're calling them, are really good. Like, I would just like, I'm an onion lover though. I hate onions. Yeah, but like, sometimes I'll just like fry up an onion in the skillet, and that's what that tastes like. Like, it tastes good. So, overall, would you eat here again? Yes. Okay, so I just went and got refills for us. Robbie came back a little bit ago, and he got himself two plain Jane cheeseburgers and then added ketchup to them with a well toasted bun because I knew, my I, favorite like And I knew she was going to want it. He also got me a Neapolitan shake which is delicious. Yeah. But we both came to the consensus that while the fries are fresh they're just not as good as Five Guys. Mm -hmm. but. I want my jam. The burgers are fantastic. So Hallie. What you doing? Hanging in my chair. Like, I love this with the teacups. So, Hallie told me when we were walking in that this is the only time that she wants to stuff her face and then go ride the teacups. So, we're just gonna chill here for a little bit and then go explore the rest of the resort. So, this is a map of all of Disneyland. And it is here in the Fantasy Tower. It's not really showing up because of the glare, but it's awesome. So we stepped into the Frontierland Tower. Frontier Tower, I can't stop saying Frontierland. But we just wanted to look around. Plus we're trying to walk off our dinner because we ate so much at In-N-Out Burger that we're wow, like gonna right burst. But I am so excited for this. I have not ridden a Big Thunder Mountain coaster since 2015 because it was closed when we went on our Disney mood for refurbishment. So back in the day, um, Davy Crockett era um, was huge in Disneyland and they actually had the original Disneyland had 
So like Native wigwams. Tribes. No, they legit had Disney invited several different Native American tribes to become Happy Pavilion, and each month they would swap it out with different groups to tell about their culture and everything that went on. But unfortunately, all that is gone now. So, how cool would it have been to ride on a horse-drawn carriage, like, or a wagon through Disneyland? That would have been pretty interesting. So. This building behind me is Mickey's Orange Mansion. We are headed there tomorrow for a DVC presentation because we met with a very nice cast member this afternoon. I think his name was Harold. I'm trying to remember. Robbie's creeping in the background. Um, but, I need to reapply my lipstick again. But for but, a tip, every six months you're eligible to do one of these DVC like little lectures. Depending on how long your lecture is, mm -hmm. you get free fast passes. It's not depending on your lecture, it's depending on where you're staying. So Well no no no. If you're staying on property you get Disney gift cards on top. But, oh. but the length of your lecture would determine how many fast passes you get. Yeah, so we had an option. We could do a group presentation that lasted about forty five minutes that would allow us three fast passes apiece, or we could do an individual presentation that would last sixty to ninety minutes depending on how many questions we ask after the initial 60-ish minute presentation, yep. and that allows you four per fast passes per person. And we both get $75 gift cards. Because we're staying at the Disneyland Hotel. So, And that, that is every six months you can do, so. Yeah, I thought that we couldn't do it again because we listened to their presentation in 2016 when we went on our Disney moon at Walt Disney World. Um, but every six months you can listen to them talk again and get paid money and or fast passes and for you hoop you do fans <gasps> mama